Nissan GTR ignition maps. Ecutec offer high power, high resolution ignition maps. Compared to the factory ECU maps, the units are real values, real ignition timing, and have also been rescaled to a much higher engine load than the factory 100%. We can now go all the way up to 200%, which would be around 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 newton meters of torque. These maps are much bigger than stock. The standard maps are normally 16 by 16, probably about that big as a guess. Um, our new maps now are 26 by 19. This provides 200% greater resolution over the stock maps. Also enables us to provide more accurate calibration, giving us more cells, more individual cells to develop the calibration. In addition, we have very high resolution and it's quite difficult to explain. It's actually up to 8,000% higher resolution over the stock Nissan maps. And what our new resolution has given us is an unparalleled smoothness and drivability um, when everybody who's using the latest map feels instantly. It's to do with the way the, the, the maps, the axes are scaled and the units in the maps are, and by um, the Equitech development team have rescaled the maps and given us a lot more resolution so it's provided a lot more smoothness and uh, that can be felt when using the latest race one feature files. So we've got four ignition maps, one for each map switch mode. We've got the graphical view as usual, what most people are used to seeing. Um, you can make this larger as you probably all know. We're going to just make it uh, smaller first, then add it back on, and then make it bigger. A few people seem to struggling to hear me, so I'm going to talk a bit louder. Um, the ignition map shown here, as you can see, has been profiled by us. It's fairly close to what the standard ignition timing would be. When we right click on the graph, it flatlines and we can drag it back into shape. We've got four ignition maps, one for different, one for each mode. And as I say, with the uh, rescaled maps now, this is 100%, it's around 550, 600 horsepower. This is going to be more up around 1,000 horsepower. So if you want to rescale, you can still go up from here. Find the right buttons. There's 313 is the limit, so we've got lots of resolution to make lots of power. Nobody's hit the max limit, so um, we're unlikely to have um, any issues with that. So 300, if we wanted to go to maximum scaling, we can interpolate, control H. So now we're down here, 600 horsepower. I'm estimating here around 1,000. And, well, if somebody wants to send me a power graph and they're running 313 engine load, then I'll be very, very impressed. But it would be some seriously big numbers, I think. I look forward to that day. Okay, the uh, thing to, worth noting with the ignition maps is that the factory maps are not used anymore. The factory maps, at the moment, are still in the software. And moving forward, we will move those ignition maps into another category we're not going to be using them with a the phase three. If somebody's using an older race one feature file version, then they may still need access to them, but we're going to put them out of the way because they're just confusing. We've got, you know, if you're not using map switching, you've got one ignition map to think of. The other important factor is on the Gen 2 cars, the dynamic advance is still working. So it will add up to around three degrees of timing. In the event of no knock, you will see it slowly starts to increase the timing. A lot of tuners don't seem to like that. Personally, I think it's a good feature. Um, but if you don't want it working, just zero out the maps. With the um, high power ignition maps and high resolution ignition maps, the other safety features and the other uh, ignition control features from the factory ECU will still work. So things like torque reduction, ignition retard during gear shift will still be active. Lift off, ignition retard, still active. and cold starting, ignition control for catalyst preheating uh, will also work. There'll be various other 
transient ignition retard that are still working as well. So we've retained all the standard safety features and characteristics of the stock ECU, just put in a, a very high resolution map that's um, easier to visualize. They're real numbers and rescale for well up to a thousand horsepower. In addition, we've added a ignition retard uh, correction map against intake air temperature. All fairly straightforward stuff for most tuners. 